eight high maintenance things I do to remain low maintenance. Now, I've seen this kind of all over YouTube and I'm just obsessed with the concept. It's literally me in a nutshell. I do not have time on a daily basis, mainly because I have a toddler um, and I look after her three days in a week, in the week, just me and her. Um, so she's actually only in childcare two days a week. I don't have the time to kind of be doing lots, you know, washing my hair every single day, like doing my makeup properly every single day. So there are definitely some things in terms of my, you know, makeup, in terms of skincare, um, in terms of my styling, my accessories that I use to feel more put together that could definitely be seen as high maintenance. And maybe they are, but they make it more low maintenance for me. You guys will understand what I mean when I go through the process of this, of this video, but I'm so excited to chat through these things with you. As always, I will chat through my outfit, but I'm going to do that towards the end of the video, just so I can get into this a little quicker for you guys. And um, a reminder of me, I'm a size UK 12, 14. Um, I'm a mum, so I definitely have a mum tum, so I like style around that, or I don't. It just depends how I feel on that day. And um, so let's get into the first high maintenance thing that's low maintenance so the first thing has got to be nails now obviously <laughs> this is something that people would definitely think is quite high maintenance my nails are actually due to be um done next week so they're definitely growing i get them done every four weeks I will of course link the lady that I go to in Nottingham who is local to me. Um, I have Biab and Hard Gel which um, obviously is a lot kinder to your nails. Like these are my natural nails. I don't have them particularly long. Obviously they're longer at the minute because they've grown because I'm due to be getting them done soon. I don't have them particularly long because I just can't manage it with having a toddler. Um, it's just not practical for me. Um, but it just means that like every four weeks I can have a really nice new style obviously now I have the I actually can't remember what this is called but it's kind of like the powder the chrome that's put over the top which I absolutely love like I couldn't do that myself at home obviously and um, the lady sorts my cuticles out um, and all of that thing which I'm just not going to do at home and I know that if I try and paint my nails with normal nail polish that is going to stay on like an hour that is it's just going to come off and I just don't have the energy the time or the creativity in that department <laughs> for that so getting my nails done is just something that always makes me feel so much more put together and there's so many like cute designs I'll put some on screen so you can kind of see the ones I'm loving at the minute I definitely love kind of a more minimal nail but with more like a cute design on it or um in the summer I love kind of colorful nails as well um, and I just think if you're wearing quite a simple outfit and your nails are kind of that pop of color I just think it's a cutest thing ever and again it's probably for me two and a half two hours two and a half hours every four weeks so relatively high maintenance but honestly the time it saves me day to day is massive actually something that I want to include in my high maintenance um to be low maintenance routine is a pedicure like a gel pedicure because I'm just so lazy with like doing my toenail polish it just chips off so easily I just can't be bothered so that's something I'm definitely going to introduce because I think that's just going to help me kind of day to day especially while we're in the warmer months and we're wearing sandals which I hope we're going to be doing for the next couple of months um so yeah that's definitely something I want to introduce into my routine because I think it's just going to make my life so much easier so the next thing I want to talk about is hair. Now it's probably like a terrible day <laughs> to talk about hair when my hair is kind of like this but obviously I put some videos on from Instagram so you can kind of see more what it's like when it's not like this. Um, I've actually been going through a process recently of lightening my hair. Now I have had black hair for I don't know six years maybe and I did love that look on me like I'm slightly more olive skin so I think that tended to work for me but I'm not naturally that dark my hair's like a mid brown like I'm maybe going towards like a mousy kind of brown um and obviously being 38 now to be fair I say obviously being 38 now my husband's 40 and does not have a grey hair on his head which is so frustrating <laughs> me um because I've been having them since I was like in my 20s but I've definitely noticed now like getting into my later 30s that I'm getting like you know grey hairs in my parting a lot around here I'm actually due to get my hair done next week so I can definitely see them at the minute and 
I'm finding it really hard to find the time to get back to the hairdressers and get my hair coloured regularly in that really dark colour to kind of conceal those greys, not even necessarily my roots, just put those greys. I've tried, you know, the root touch-up powders and I don't have energy for them. They're messy and I just can't be bothered and I don't like how they look. So that is why I'm not attempting the black anymore. I'm also not home dyeing because it's not good. It was not good for my hair. Like my hair's quite fragile, quite thin so I just don't like the thought of like home dyeing my own hair so it's just not something that I'm going to do anymore so I've actually gone through this lightening process I have like a balayage hair style so it's like lighter on the ends it's very like a caramelly it's actually because I've been away recently it's been quite warm when I've been away my hair's lightened quite a lot but I really really like it I have kind of money pieces which you kind of even can see in this Kind of slick rick look i have like a lighter money piece at the front of my hair um which again just really helps conceal those grays so much and i'm probably not going to the hairdressers for a root touch up or any touch up for probably three months it's three months in between each one i'm due next week i'm quite gray and you can't see it and for me that just helps me out so much having a little girl i just can't be sitting for five six hours in the hairdressers on a regular basis i just can't so although obviously when i'm going to the hairdressers obviously i'm getting it done there it's a relatively high maintenance thing to do in the end it serves me better because actually i don't need to touch it for months it my grays blend in so much better and honestly i just think not having that harsh black is actually so much more flattering on me and on my skin tone so i'm actually super happy with it I I'll tag below, obviously with my nails as well, I'll tag below and with my hair, who I use currently to do my hair, um, they're both amazing. Um, and yeah, definitely something I would recommend if you're kind of struggling with greys. And if you're not naturally that dark as well, if you are naturally that dark, I understand why you wouldn't want to change it, but I'm not, so it made sense for me. Next thing I want to talk about is like, I'm going to say life changing, you're going to be like, this so dramatic. It is, it is. It's definitely dramatic but the difference that it makes to your face is huge and that's your brows and your lashes so I actually went and got my brows done um, I'll do a better cutaway so you guys can see I actually went to get my brows done um, on Saturday night and it's um, Monday morning now I get them um, laminated and my brows tinted as well um just because it kind of picks up those hairs that are like quite a lot lighter in your eyebrows now i do have quite naturally dark eyebrows anyway and um, but just that tint just seems to make them look a little bit fuller and obviously the lamination again makes them look fuller and i really like that fluffy kind of brushed up look um and again i literally with my brows now i'll put a bit of product in them but i won't need to start putting product in them for probably about a week and a half two weeks and then they'll kind of need a bit of product in them just to kind of push them up a little bit um but then i'll probably not go back for about 10 12 weeks and then i'll go get them done again and they're almost lasting that amount of time and looking really good without having to put any pencil really barely any product in and that just saves me so much time in the morning they just look so much better I've never been that great at kind of filling in my eyebrows I just don't make a good job of it so actually getting them done like this means I basically don't have to touch them um, again that who does my brows and my lashes I will tag um, in here so you guys can see she's literally the queen of brows and the queen of lashes but she really is a queen of brows like she's absolutely amazing i've actually got these done as i said on um saturday you don't touch them for 48 hours because that helps kind of everything set in place and then you can kind of wash them um and just go about your normal process so these are still as the state that they were on saturday so they are looking darker than they will do when i kind of wash out this product um and lashes so lashes something relatively recently i've been having lvl lashes and again i'll do kind of good to a close-up so you guys can see it um this guys is a game changer especially if you don't want or intend to wear much makeup this basically tints and curls your lashes your natural lashes um so i don't after this i probably won't wear mascara for two weeks I'll just leave it like this and I love that look that really kind of minimal glowy makeup look really natural on your eyes like I do love the look of mascara but I think just your natural eyelashes just look so much so much more beautiful and obviously 
mostly we have kind of you know lighter lashes that are kind of straight mine definitely are and so to have that kind of curl and to tint them as well I'm just obsessed with this look I keep seeing it all over TikTok where it's a super glowy look and then basically nothing on your eyes but these girls I've seen definitely seem to have some LVL lash some lash, lash lift some lash tint and um, which just gives you know your eyes that little bit more of an open look it was definitely high maintenance i get that but it's only 12 once every 12 weeks it pretty much lasted me that whole time and also with the lashes when my kind of tints kind of worn off a little bit more and i start to put mascara on the lift you already have in your lashes and then you put mascara on is insane they just look so crazy long so it definitely helps me get ready in the morning because I've just everything's basically done I just have to put a tiny bit of makeup on my skin and then I'm literally done and that's exactly what I have done today so definitely seems high maintenance but in the end from a day-to-day -day basis it's really low maintenance for me next thing I want to talk about is earrings this is like massive for me <laughs> honestly I do not go out of the house without my earrings in like i can have not a scrap of makeup on just my skincare but if i don't have my earrings i do not feel like me and i understand this is like a personal thing and maybe other people do not feel the same but for me my earrings are kind of my thing especially because in the week i do wear my hair scraped back quite a lot like this or if it's not a scrape back i wear it in a claw clip so everything's kind of off my face and I really think that having kind of these earring details here is just something that gives you a little bit extra day to day when you are kind of in a rush and you don't have that much time to kind of get yourself ready simple skincare a little bit of like tinted moisturizer some blusher brush my brows up if they need it um put my earrings in scrape my hair back in my slick rick and i'm done and i feel like myself and in fact sometimes i feel like the best version of myself like that rather than when i spent time got ready and i feel a little bit too overdone if that makes sense at the minute i'm going to show you some ear combinations that i'm absolutely obsessed with at the minute i'll again obviously link everything below so you can purchase those items if you want i've recently realized we have a local in the town that I live near. We have a Oliver Bonus, which is quite like a local store. It's not a place that I've shopped in really before, but I have realized they have the best earrings. They're affordable and honestly, their earrings are so nice. Actually, this ear stack I'm wearing in the minute that you'll be able to see, um, there's the big silver ones at the bottom. They are from Oliver Bonus. They're in a pack with kind of a smaller pair as well, which look amazing together, but I also love mixing and matching. Um, and one of the kind of my favourite things to do with kind of hoop earrings, which is predominantly what I like the most, but I also like other types of earrings, which I'll again show you some of the stacks while we're chatting. Um, but one of my favourite things to do at the minute is to mix metals. And I just love that kind of gold and silver combination in an ear stack. It's just my favourite thing to do and literally it makes me so happy when I put like an ear stack together and I think oh I really like that and there's actually a smaller ear stack I'm going to show you where it's kind of smaller earrings than this but they're still kind of like a chunky um, gold and silver earring which I just think look so so good um yeah the other thing as well that I'm also obsessed with with my kind of earring area is ear cuffs now I do have some piercings kind of I have like one lobe on here one lobe on here and I have two kind of cartilage ones up here I have had maybe seven more piercings other than this and every single one of them has just gone infected it's probably something I'm doing or it's just been I've been in so much pain or uncomfort I've just taken it out because I can't handle it so for me the best thing ever are ear cuffs it kind of just gives you this height up your like ear um again I'll show you in the cutaway and um, some of my favorites this kind of like height up your ear um and just gives you like, a little bit of something extra especially if you wear your hair up a lot of the time and again I just absolutely love this look it makes me feel so much more edgy it makes me feel so much more put together and it's just something that i'm obsessed with it's just that little bit of extra um so again you may think putting these earrings in the morning when you basically got no much makeup on is a little bit high maintenance it takes two seconds and really makes me feel like my, myself um so honestly 
try it it's a really inexpensive way as well to kind of play around with different styles in your ears to work out what you like like you don't have to be buying these earrings from expensive places like asos do good do great ones they actually do great and um, 95 silver ones or sterling foot silver ones all of the bonus do great ones h&m do great ones so yeah it's just about finding ones you love and that make you feel amazing so on the same kind of like styling conversation we were having but obviously we were talking earrings jewelry i want to talk about accessories now day to day again my style is very very casual especially when i'm with my little girl for the day i just need something really comfy i need something that washes well because i'm going to get covered in food i'm running around with her and yeah i'm mainly going to the park i'm mainly going to the soft play i'm mainly going for a walk or she's on her trike you know we're doing those things that are not necessarily glamorous <laughs> and what you're going to wear something glamorous or impractical for it's got to be super super practical so i'm wearing jeans wide leg trousers leggings joggers when the weather's cooler i actually can't wait to get back in my joggers <laughs> I'm wearing oversized t-shirts, sweatshirts, um, oversized shirts, you know, just really simple things um, that are probably more on the minimal side, unless I'm wearing, you know, more of a graphic t-shirt, um, which, which really means I want my accessories to do the talking to, again, make me feel more like myself. And that's where I would, I'm obsessed with kind of oversized suede bags. So when you're kind of wearing a really, really simple outfit and you took on an oversized suede bag, I think it just makes a massive difference to how put together you are. Also, when you're wearing an oversized suede bag, it's oversized, you can get so much in it. I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorite ones actually. And not just suede ones, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite bags that um, are just oversized and just work for mom everyday life, but are stylish and make me feel amazing. So the three bags I wanna show you, the first one is this kind of, it's almost like a satin bag I think from Cos. This is a very large bag, which I am obsessed with. It's amazing because you can wear it cross body, so easy to wear it cross body. And it's literally such a nice bag you can fit so much stuff in it it kind of has this like bow detail down here which i adore it's white clean <laughs> which is so important when you have a child especially a young child that gets stuff everywhere and you, again you can just fit so much into it and then i have this suede bag which is more of a kind of less of a it's still really slouchy because it's suede but it's kind of more of a, a rectangle shape and this is from the barley tailor and it's just such a beautiful bag it just goes with absolutely everything you can wear it cross body or you can wear it over your shoulder i can fit my tripod in here i can fit be snacks in here i can fit so many things and again it just makes me feel so much more put together when i wear something like this with a really kind of simple outfit and then finally i have this brown one from arquette which is kind of this slouchy kind of moon shape and it's in a brown which i'm obsessed with like i'm obsessed with chocolate brown at the minute and again you can put this cross body so you're hands free when you're with your child my little girl's decided she doesn't want to go in the push chair that much anymore so actually having something like this is just so easy to throw over you and you've got both your hands you can hold a hand when she's trying to run away um into the path of dangerous things which happens regularly in our house um and yeah it's just such a beautiful bag as you would expect from anything at our care it just goes with so many things i also really love a kind of fun bag when you've again got a really simple neutral outfit having that little fun bag or having that little pop of color i just think makes all the difference to your outfit again makes you feel like you when you're kind of just going about your everyday but you still want to feel stylish um so the first one i show you want to show you is this one i actually showed you in the last video i did which was about my kind of new in my wardrobe haul i got this from vintage because they don't have this red color in stock in cost at the minute but they do have lots of other colors and this is this super cute shoulder bag you can get so much in this guys like so much it's so comfy on your shoulder and it just adds that something to more minimal outfits and the next bag is this silver bag. I actually got this. This is Fair 11. I actually got this on holiday and um, when I was in Mallorca from a random market store. It also has this like internal bag which is so good for putting nappies in and kind of like wipes and stuff when you're on the go with B so you don't have to take an extra 
um, kind of nappy bag with you which I cannot be bothered to do these days um, especially because she's not as little so doesn't poop as much <laughs> as she used to this bag again this like silver oversized tote bag just gives something a little bit more I know obviously I got this on holiday from a market store but I'm going to try and see if I can find something similar to link for you guys um, below but just having that little bit extra and an accessory when your outfit's really simple day to day may seem a little bit high maintenance but honestly, again, how it's going to make you feel and how much more put together you're going to feel, it's going to make all the difference in your day-to-day -day outfits. So the next high maintenance to be low maintenance thing I want to talk about is skin. Now, as I said earlier, I am not someone who likes to wear a ton of makeup. I don't feel like it's flattering on me when I do wear a ton of makeup. I feel like I don't look like me. Obviously, certain occasions I wear more makeup, but from a day-to-day -day basis, I barely wear any. So kind of keeping my skin, or trying to keep my skin as good as it can be, is really, really important for me, especially as I get older, especially as I get towards the big 4 <laughs> It's definitely something that I need to be kind of aware of and kind of look after. And actually one of the things I do, it's going to be really controversial to some people, some people are not going to think it's a good thing to do, but I actually have Botox. And I have this, I've, I, obviously I've had a baby um, coming up to two years ago. I obviously didn't have Botox while I was pregnant. I didn't have Botox while we were trying for a baby, which for us was actually a very long time and we had quite a few problems. Um, so I, and then obviously I didn't have Botox when I was breastfeeding her which was for 13 months so I hadn't had it for a very long time but I have had two lots of it um, in the last uh, how long have I been? eight months no she's 13 months six months and actually I did go relatively quick intervals between the two amounts probably three months in between two um just because I felt like the first time I probably didn't quite have enough um and I got that movement back in my face quite quickly so I kind of went for more of I guess like a top up earlier than I necessarily would have gone before for me it really just made it smooth out my forehead. I actually don't have it around my eyes at all. I don't feel like I need it there yet. Um, I actually only have it every other time in my brow line here, um, in between my brows, because again, I don't feel like I need it there. It's more my forehead. I have a lot of movement in my forehead. I do have some lines that just literally won't go, even with the Botox. So really, it just... I mean obviously it's completely a personal choice whether or not you go for this for me it just makes my forehead look so much smoother it makes my makeup go on so much better I actually have quite a lot of acne scarring on my forehead and I feel like it smooths that out whether or not that is the case I don't know also obviously doing Botox now will really stop my really big lines from kind of appearing um as i get older as long as i keep up with it now i'm intending on having another baby so if that happens i'm intending on having another baby so there'll be a big period of time where i will not be doing this um but again for me botox it just makes it smooths my skin out it just makes me feel a lot more confident in my skin um, and it's just something that i enjoy doing it is high maintenance in terms of the cost, it's not a cheap thing to do, I understand that. In terms of the time, it takes barely any time at all. But really for me, it's just a bit of a game changer in my skin and how I feel about it. So that's why I choose to do it. And number seven, we're nearing the end. And the next thing I want to talk about is red light therapy masks. Now, this is probably the best thing in my skincare arsenal. It is the thing that when my skin is what I am not doing at the minute which I wish I could do but again it's time we get very tired at night my little girl's still not sleeping through and if she does she wakes up at five which can make things difficult me and Ryan want an evening together but we have to go to bed quite early to kind of counteract that five o'clock and the wake sometimes in the night as well which is what she did last night so I am running on four and a half hours sleep <laughs> yeah what I would like to be doing is to be using this kind of on a every other night basis or an every night basis which is the minute i just haven't really had time to do so that is the led light therapy mask and the one that i have is the current body um mask and it is so good guys 
honestly when I tell you my skin has broke out because I'm in my you know my hormone hormonal time of the month where I'm, I'm about to ovulate or I'm about to have my period and I put this mask on every night and it just stops my skin from getting really bad I know it definitely has effect on fine lines as well I need to be a bit more consistent to really really see that but even just stopping me breaking out and stopping my skin from just not being happy I'll kind of use it for five six days in a row every single night to really clear that period and I do that every month and it has a massive massive effect on my skin I actually have a discount code co for you guys for this mask I'll put it in my um information below and it was very kindly gifted to me via my my instagram um but i also have the um neck and deck perfecter from current body skin which again is so good especially as i get towards 40 this is an area that i think definitely gets forgotten about and actually have something that's specific for this area so every time i kind of do my face mask i'll do this at the same time and i just think it's such a good product guys like if you read about the benefits of led light therapy they are just massive and for me they really are one of the most the things that i've used most in terms of skincare where i've really really seen a difference and actually Ryan will use it sometimes as well is when his skin's not feeling great and he can feel a difference and I just think that's massive it's actually so good for men you know like if men aren't really into wearing you know skincare day to day which they definitely should but if they don't actually putting this on you know it's 10 minutes a night because that's how long it, you put it on it's literally 10 minutes or in the morning whenever you have time and it just makes such a difference to your skin the better your skin can be the easier day to day it is the less of makeup you have to apply the better i think you feel kind of going out about with just bare skin um, and really that's really important for me for my kind of general ease of life day to day the next thing i want to talk about is dermaplaning now i just use these tools that literally are from amazon um, they just look like this and they have obviously this kind of blade on the end I will link those below they are like ridiculously cheap like a couple of pounds and I pretty much use one each time I do this because obviously I don't want to um, kind of get that dirt and grime on there and then put that back on my skin a second time so I'll kind of use one each time and they are just really 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 good for kind of removing that top layer of kind of dead skin you obviously have to be very careful when you're using them and any kind of like hair fine hair that you have over your face which again feels so much better when you're putting your makeup over top of your skin and it's super smooth um, and again it's, ju it's just good at moving those kind of dead skin scales that you just don't really want there I don't do this regularly I probably do it every five weeks four or five weeks just when I feel like I need it and again it's a relatively high maintenance thing but really in the end it makes day to day more low maintenance for me because my makeup just goes on nice nicer my skin just looks better when i'm taking photos as well or video that fine downy kind of hair that you get especially if you're like in a full light just isn't there which is, just makes me more comfortable when i'm looking at my pictures obviously everyone's different some people will not care about this it's just something that i like to do um on that four to five week basis it's just really easy really simple and does make a difference i feel to the look of my skin um after that i don't particularly have sensitive skin so after i have kind of dermaplaned i just make sure my skin is really clean and then i am um, just put my normal skincare on um i know some people might need more soothing skincare but actually for me i don't feel like i particularly need that i feel like my skin is like fine without it um so yeah that is all of the things the processes that i have um that are could be considered as high maintenance to make life kind of easier and make myself low maintenance from a day-to-day -day basis 
as promised at the start of the video I'll just take you through quickly what I'm wearing um, so you actually saw these jeans and this shirt on my last video I did which was my haul video these jeans are Ganny I got them in the Nettlewater sale very recently I am obsessed with them they are so good I love the kind of paper bag waist like I love that you could put a different belt on here if you wanted to because this belt comes off I have them in waist 31 which is perfect for me as a 12-14 smack bang in the middle of those two sizes perfect perfect and um, there's definitely some room in them as well and um, which is nice in a pair of jeans it just makes them really comfortable I have this bralette kind of cropped up from cost that I've had for quite a while but I do think it's still available so I'll link it and um, this is in a size medium um, and then I have this kind of oversized yellow shirt and um, that's from ASOS this is in a size UK 16 so I wanted it super oversized and I just love that look you guys know I love that look of like a wide denim or a wide leg trouser cropped up oversized shirt so that's what I'm wearing today um, and next week I wasn't sure whether I wanted to do this yet because I didn't know whether it was just my hair that was in the next season but honestly I hope it helps you guys to kind of not buy anything for summer anymore because we're kind of going out of that season I know we're not I know we're still in it and I'm still going to enjoy it and wear my summer clothes I just don't want to be purchasing anything else that I'm not going to get a huge amount of wear out of for the rest of the year if that makes sense and into next year so I'm going to do an autumn trends video, I've been reading lots about autumn trends, I'm going to show you loads of pieces that I have that you guys will be able to purchase or find similar ones in your wardrobe because obviously that's really important, some curvy girl styling tips which I also love to give um, and let's talk about autumn fashion and what's coming next season which is one of my most, like I, I did it for spring and I did it for summer and it's one of my most favourite videos to do, um, so let's do it for autumn and please like Please subscribe, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.